With every new Pokemon game I've seen released, the fandom is very quick to criticize it endlessly. Fans always look back upon the good Pokemon games and comparing new games to old games, but then they talk about how the old games are missing things that the new games have, so maybe Pokemon was never good. <laughs> This is something I've been thinking about for a long time. I got into like the Pokemon fandom in the rise of Sun and Moon in that hype train period. I was following like all the news things and like watching videos about leaks and like reading all the Bulbapedia stuff. Like I was knee deep into the Pokemon fandom for some time. I've kind of gotten out of it once Gen 7 ended. I haven't been too invested with Gen 8. But I feel like I have a firm grasp on general consensus in the fandom, especially getting a little bit back into it in recent months. And one thing I always see is that there doesn't seem to be any set of games that everyone likes. The only games that I can see that are consistently, like, called good are the Gen 4 games, but like, even there's tons of criticism about them, so I'm like, well, what are you happy with? It feels like the entire Pokemon fan base is just there because they played Pokemon as a kid, got older, realized the games weren't as good, but like, at this point they were too invested to leave. And it's just very interesting to see because you see a lot of criticisms being thrown around at the new games, but then also a lot of criticism being thrown about at the old games. And so it's just very confusing for me to figure out, well, like, what are we considering like a baseline good game if none of the games are meeting these criteria? All right, so let's just go through the generations and like go through what the fandom like trashes these games for. <laughs> Gen 1 I see um, a lot is just it's buggy, like the games themselves are like very buggy. Um, honestly, a lot of the designs from Gen 1 aren't the most interesting or creative. Some of them are literally just animals with like a little bit of variation in them. And also Gen 1 doesn't have too much of a story, you just stop some gangsters and whatever. Um, a lot of people don't love Gen 1 too much. And then we get to Gen 2, and it's pretty much the same criticism as Gen 1, but not as much. My main problem with the first two Gens is just I could not play them. Like, I've tried playing through, like, virtual console versions of both. I just couldn't. Like, to me, a game that's in, like, pixelated and black and white, like, that's too visually difficult for me to, like, engage with. Like, I can't. I just couldn't. Like... I have no idea how Pokemon got popular because like I couldn't tell like what objects were or where I was. I had no direction of the map because like you get so little of a screen and there's like I could not I, I just really couldn't play those games. And like the Pokemon you don't even know what your Pokemon look like. Like how did people play these games and like knew what they looked like? Like without the anime or the cards like I don't think Pokemon would have ever gotten to the point where it is today. All right, so Gen 1 and 2, they're bad because they're just old and they haven't aged well. So Gen 1 and 2, bad, bad games. We don't like them. So I get to Gen 3, and Gen 3 is in full color, which is great. That's a step up. And a criticism a lot of people throw out about evil teams in Pokemon is that they don't like the, um, they don't really like the motive of evil teams in Pokemon because their motive is just end the world. And, like, people often point to that as the reason why they don't like X and Y or Sword and Shield, but, like, that started in Gen 3 with Ruby and Sapphire. Team Aqua and Team Magua both just want to end the world just in different ways. Like, they're being creative about how they're ending the world, but they're still ending the world. And a lot of the criticism that older games get is that there's no character customization and you have to use HNs. And again, that also applies to Gens 1 and 2, but also Gen 3 very heavily because, like, I believe there's six HNs you need for the whole game. Like, you were required six HNs, so you can't just put them all on one HN slave. You have to have multiple Pokemon with HN slots for moves to get through the game, which is ridiculous. If I I don't love how Pokemon has patched out HMs with just like having like taxis and bikes and whatever, but I feel like, I don't know, I feel like HMs honestly should be brought back, but not in the way that they were. Like, I feel like if you have any water type Pokemon, it should be able to surf. Like that shouldn't take up a move slot, but you should have to craft your team of Pokemon to help you traverse the land. I feel like that's a good like gameplay thing to add. 
Because Pokemon as a game isn't difficult at all. And they've never been difficult. That's another thing people bring up. They're like, oh, the newer games are so easy. The old games are easy. It's all easy. All the games are easy. They're meant for fucking four-year-olds to play. So that's another thing. This video is very disjointed. But yeah, I think if you want to add more strategy to Pokemon, you add more gameplay elements like HNs. Like, if you want to fly, you should have a flying type Pokemon. It shouldn't take up a move slot, but you should at least, like, there should be some other strategy to creating your team of Pokemon that isn't just what type matchups are going to work for battles. It should also be what types do I need to traverse the land. But anyway, so Gen 3 has so many HNs. It doesn't have difficulty settings, which people apparently want so desperately. And yeah, so Gen 3, bad games. We hate those games. Gen 4, again, HMs, not very difficult. A stupid team with the stupid story, sorry. And Gen 4 goes really slow. It's really slow. I, it was painful. It was painful playing through it. Like, it was just, it moved so slowly and nothing was happening. And I was just like, this is so slow. Like, I much rather prefer games like, um sun and moon and sword and shield where it's just like a straight shot to the end like oh my god gen 4 was so slow and like that's what people are like gen 4 is the best we love gen 4 and i'm like yeah gen 4 is okay but like if you're saying that like x and y are bad but diamond and pearl are good i think you need to really reevaluate those games and like take your nostalgia out of it because as someone who played gen 4 like not as a child as a well, still a child, but like not as a young child. I have had no nostalgia attached to Gen 4, so to me, they were just like, okay games, okay Pokemon games. Again, and also, I, I see the fandom complain so much about battle animations. They're just like, there's no battle animations, which is true. And Gen 4 doesn't have battle animations. It doesn't have character customization. Like you're never please. Gen 4 bad games, we hate Gen 4. Gen 5, the Pokemon are stupid. You can only catch the Pokemon from the Unova region. The story is pretty decent. The story is good. Bad guy's good. We like that. But like, it has the most animation probably out of any Pokemon game. But the region's kind of stupid. I don't like the region. I do not like Unova. And so, Gen 5, pff, bad games. Gen 6, people are quick to trash on. Even though visually, they were such an improvement. I, uh, I mean, it's not that I don't like 2D pixelated games, like Stardew Valley is great. It's just the way that the maps in Gens 1 through 5 were designed that like my brain was just like, it's too small, it's too small. Like I really could not get a sense of the map or the world with any of the 2D games. Just saying, just, just saying as a player. So Gen 6, people are like, ah, oh, it's too easy, which it's not. It's the same level of difficulty as all the other games. Because people think like, oh, the XP share makes it easier. No, the XP share just makes it faster. It does not make it easier. It makes it quicker. Like all the time that you would have spent just like mindlessly grinding, you now don't do that anymore. And people are like, that makes it easier. No, it just makes it faster. Just because something takes you a long time doesn't mean it's difficult. Grinding is not a difficult task. Like, anyone can go into a forest and kill low-level Pokemon. Like, that's not difficult, it's just annoying. So yes, the new games are quicker and less annoying to grind with, but that doesn't mean they're easier. I still, with the XP share, I'm usually under-leveled in all of the modern games. Like, because I don't grind, because I skip the grinding, I am now under-leveled. Even though, apparently, the XP share is supposed to make it easier, it doesn't. Like, oh my god. That is the thing that, like, like annoys me so much. Like, the newer games are not easier. They're not easier, you're just older. Like, you're just older, that's it. Like, I don't see a single child complain that, like, Pokemon's too easy. It's all grown-ass men. It is just grown-ass adult men being like, it's too easy now. Like, yeah, you're playing a fucking kid's game. I hope it's easy for you. If it wasn't easy for you, that, that would be a problem. That would be a real problem if a children's game was challenging you. Especially a children's game that you've been playing since you were a kid. If you are playing the exact same type of game that you've been playing since childhood and you aren't finding it difficult, good. That means you have improved on your skill level of this game. Like, I think that is what people don't realize. If you've been playing the same type of game since you were a child, of course it's going to get easier. 
That's how fucking progression works and skills. Sorry, I ran out of storage. When I, my first ever Pokemon game was Omega Ruby. And when I played it for the first time, it was hard. I was challenged. It was difficult because I'd never played a Pokemon game before. I went to the Elite Four so many times and died so many times. It took me, I had to like put the game down for months before I eventually beat it. Because that was, I was, I was 11 and I had never played a Pokemon game before. So it was challenging. It was difficult. But now I could fucking be Omega Ruby in a day. Like it's so easy for me now because I've been playing Pokemon for six years and I've been playing so many of the games. Of course it's easy. Like Pokemon's not easier now. You're just better at the game. I don't think a single person who's saying Pokemon is easy now has actually like talked to a child or like done anything with a child. Like had a child play like Ruby and then Omega Ruby and ask them which one was harder. They'd probably say Ruby because Ruby would take them longer because there's no XP share. And since they're a kid, they can't distinguish be between like something taking a long time and something being actually difficult. But like Pokemon's not easier now. It's not easier now. It's more convenient. Like it's, it's, it's faster. It's quicker. You don't have to spend as much time just mindlessly pressing the A button while you do something else in the background. Like no, but it's not easier. Oh my God. This, oh. So yeah, fun fact, all the old games are on the exact same level of difficulty as the new games. You just, it's just, it's just the old, the new games take less time. Anyway, Gen 6. Gen 6, bad games apparently. Gen 7, I fucking love Sun and Moon, but yeah, there are problems. I don't like how HNs were replaced by just calling random Pokemon that aren't yours. That seems dumb to me. I don't like how many cutscenes there are. There are a lot of unskippable cutscenes. I feel like you should have the option to skip a lot of those cutscenes. But to me, I don't- I literally- Sun and Moon are on the same level of just like quality that like Diamond and Pearl were. Sorry if that's a hot take, but I don't know. I feel like I offer a unique lens where I don't have any nostalgia for pretty much any of the Pokemon games because I didn't start playing Pokemon until I was like 11. I have nostalgia for Oras, but that's about it. But Gen 7, Gen 7 gets trashed on all the time. Bad games. Gen 8, Sword and Shield. Those are legitimately bad games. That one, that one I'll give you. That one, they, they suck. They suck so bad. They are awful. That one I'll give you. Like they are just objectively bad. Like the graphics are bad. The render distance bad. The way the games run is bad. Like they are just objectively poorly made. So ignoring Gen 8, why have the Pokemon fans never been satisfied with a single release? Like there's always something to complain about with every release of Pokemon. Like I wa I used to watch those videos like ranking the generations. Even generations put at number one, they still had something negative to say about them. And obviously every criticism that I gave to the gens aren't everyone's thoughts. They're just general thoughts that I see a lot. But like, why are you so upset with the thing that you like? Like, if you're generally, like, not okay with any of the Pokemon games, stop being a Pokemon fan. Like, I just, it doesn't, I does not compute in my brain how you can complain about every single installment of a series and still like that series. It seems like with a lot of Pokemon fans, they just hate it all. They hate everything. They're just like, none of these games are a good Pokemon game. They, I will never be satisfied. And it's just like, well, leave. No one's forcing you to like Pokemon. You don't have to be here. You can go play any game you want. You can go make videos about any fandom you want. Like, like you are not being held at gunpoint to talk about Pokemon. I promise you. It's like the same people who complain about HNs like being in older games will then complain about how the new games have been like made easier. And it's like they they were made easier because you kept complaining all these years. It's a mess. It's a mess. It's just, I just have so many problems with the Pokemon fan base that it's just like, they first of all do not understand that like Gen 6 and 7 are fun. They're good games and they're fun. That's the thing about Pokemon. All the games are fun for children but like i like pretty much all the pokemon games i do i'm i i this these are not my opinions it i just it just baffles me it absolutely baffles me how you can say you like a thing but then criticize every single aspect of it and i'm like well they don't like it then like it's not like they're just doing this to modern pokemon games they're doing it to the old ones i see people like trash on gen 1 
all the time and it's like well if you never liked it why do you still like talk about it i don't understand hopefully this video made sense and you understand where i'm coming from kind of i don't know i don't know if i make sense ever Ah, oh, i just i can't i can't the new pokemon games aren't easier they're not they're just as difficult they provide just as much of a challenge for children like the newer pokemon games excel in ways that the older ones didn't and the older ones excel in ways that the new ones don't but like sword and shield were absolute garbage so you know what i'll just end the video with that